Okay, we're getting back on this motor. So, let's see. We got left off. I just got the crank in, as I recall. Yep. So, next thing on the list to do is get the cam cover stuff situated. Which means I need to put the uh, breather and oil pump and stuff in there. I put the main seal in there already, which I didn't show on video. So I forgot to. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and put the oil pump on here. So here is the SS pump. Looks like a standard volume pump. Make sure there's no heavy gouging or anything inside of here is what you're looking for. So it looks good. That's the return side. This is pressure side. Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Alright. So lifters. Here's the breather valve. We'll be needing that. We'll pump shaft. We'll definitely be needing that. There, I guess we'll need it that some point. We need the cam and this stuff. Alright, that's it for that box. Everything else is going to be in there or laying out here someplace. It's only been sitting here for a month or so, three weeks, whatever it's been. First thing I do is make sure all our gasket surfaces are clean. Stuff like that you want to get off. Big job, see. Let's take it all out. So I use a hard gasket scraper, not a, not a buffing wheel. Try not to put your body in front of the blade. It will cut you if you give it a chance to. You do kind of like a knife cutting action so you get stuff to come off easier. So you just break brute force by pushing on it. There you go, nice and clean. Blow it off just to make sure you didn't leave anything in there. Like having gasket residue inside your oil pump and you put it together. Alright. Let's see, these are way too fluffy of a towel for parts. But we'll use it anyway. Everything fill out. See, things collecting there. Okay, so now we lay this out for the parts we're going to need and stuff we're not going to need. Get rid of it. So check all your gears, make sure there's nothing worn. You can see what the actual wear mark is, but see, look at the two sides, see how it's nice and straight. If it's sucked in a little bit, a little hourglass shape to it or pointed, you know it's worn pretty heavily. That's still good. It's a standard oil pump gear set. You see a big piece of something got in there at one time. There's some more marks or something else got in there it looks like. Just look at the gear's teeth, make sure there's nothing stupid going on. Make sure there's no chunks of aluminum in the bottom of the roots here. That caused a problem, the teeth don't roll against each other very well. These look good. pump gear same thing you look at the edge make sure it's straight Our breather screen 
Make sure there's nothing in there. I already cleaned this before, so I know where it is. There's a spring to hold it in. There's a pressure valve here. See, it's got a lot of corrosion on it from sitting with dirty oil in it. it causes corrosion. This looks like one of our oil pump bolts with this little thin Allen washer. Don't lose those washers, they're expensive as hell. These here are rocker box bolts, most likely. Or they're case bolts, but probably rocker box. Looks like they lost one of the bolts, they came with something different. Probably motor mount. Probably for my motor stand. Probably missing the bolts for that someplace. Three of the mounts. Fourth. Put that on the road at motor stand, we get around to it. So all this small hardware we're just gonna separate it real quickly here and see what we're gonna keep and not keep. A little pump spring, we'll be keeping that. This here is a breather. It kind of slows down the flow through the breather. So I have no idea where the cam cover is. Thought they had everything on the workbench, but I don't see it. So we gotta find the cam cover. Kind of important. But this goes inside the cam cover, restricts the flow through the breather tube. So it gives them more chance for the oil to separate out of the air. We are not reusing these piston pin clips retainers. That's for an air cleaner, I don't need that. Little pump. Spacer. Push the spring. It goes inside of here. Should be a ball around here somewhere. There it is. No junk. Well, pump bolts. Four of them. Good, we need four of them. So you look for all the like hardware. So you can put a little baggies and have to deal with it, which I don't like doing. Because I know where, I pretty much know where every piece of hardware in the motor goes. And bike, most of the time. So these are top rocker cover, there should be eight of those. Interruptions, we're back. All right, we're back at it. Yeah, interrupted there with a phone call again. Anyway, I went ahead and got the stuff uh, rearranged here a little bit. So there's all your piles. So this is all your oil pump stuff right in here. Here's your four bolts for the oil pump. I gotta figure out what the two top bolts are. I don't know if it's these ones here. That's pretty damn long, or it's probably these two over here would be my guess, but we'll see. And these are your upper rocker box covers. <clears throat> this is some of the stuff for the cam cover. These are lifter blocks. Like I said, these I'm not sure what all these are, but I got them all laid out. So I can find them real easy. So the oil pump is here. So we just have to figure out what the bolt is that goes through this. So it has to go through this much length. Obviously that's pretty damn long. So that one's probably too damn long. My guess is this one here. That looks like the correct one. 
So we have a few washers laying here. Usually I don't have a washer on these. So this one looks like there's no washer. If there is, it's a small washer. So... Don't really see a twisting mark on there, so my guess is there might have been some kind of a washer. These washers here do not match. These are too big to be on that. See, that's too big. <clears throat> These little dinky ones here don't do much of anything. But they're black and nasty looking. They look too big though. So most of the time they go down with no washers. So it's hard to tell what they did on this one. I don't know. They did something. I guess I could put these little crappy little ones here on there, I guess. Yeah, I don't think these came off of here, though. They don't fit very well, either. Yeah, they're not quarter inch, they don't go on. I think these were used on something else. These are probably used on this cam cover stuff or something. So, no washers for these. Get this on there, it won't come off. See, there it goes. I do with the other one. There it is. So, we'll figure those out when we get to it. All right, well, anyway, that's how you do all your hardware getting laid out and put together as needed. Okay, so this clip here, you want to make sure it's tight on the shaft. Appears to be tight. So that's a good sign. So we're going to go through all our gaskets. See, so we got the gaskets. So, here's what we got for gaskets. So we got the head and base gasket. the rocker box gasket and this is our lower end gasket kit this should have the oil pump stuff in here hopefully it says lower end I think the oil pumps considered lower end I could be wrong if I had to guess I'd say it's part of it All right, so we go ahead and open this up, see what's in here. I see some oil pump gaskets right there on top. Right there. Can cover gasket, we'll be needing that. Gotta make sure it's the correct one for the year. It does. This is for the cam cover. I think he took the one that took this style, not the gasket. Lifter block, we will definitely be needing those. Don't use that very often. And here's some seals and stuff for the different parts and pieces. Here's your oil pump seal right there. And we got the main bearing in there. This one already got in there. That's our cam. That's the oil pump. These should be the ones that go under here. So you can pull these out with your nails if you have any left. I got one, I don't have two, that's the problem. I was able to get it though, see? There you go. That's one. There's probably nothing wrong with these old ones, but 
we've got them here, we might as well use them. I'm not sure what the other one's for. We'll keep it just in case we need it for something else. Inside a container so we don't lose it. And this is the oil seal. It's a cheap ass oil seal. Doesn't have the spring lip on it. These things are a pain in the ass to replace, so unless it's bad, I don't screw with them. Okay, it's got good bite on there. Yeah, not too much good bite. See how it falls through pretty easy. And it's kind of limited holding power there. See, a new one has more bite, see? So I guess we're going to have to change it now. That's work. So we take a screwdriver, stuff it in here. Try to get under it somehow. Yank it out. Yeah, it's a little hard. It's been in there a while. Probably the original. Okay, this one now has to go in there. So they put it on in the correct direction. Hey, amazing. Okay, so that has to go in there. This, this goes in real easy. I put that one in my fingers. Look at that. Just about in all the way with my finger. So we'll go find a socket that's about the right size. That appears to be about the right one. Boom, done. That was easy. That was the easiest suit I put in a long time. Shocked. Yeah, the shaft doesn't fall out. Look at that. Okay, that one's good to go. Amazing. All right. What else do we got here we're going to need? Okay, there's a new key and a new clip. We're going to need the clip for sure. Key I'm not too concerned about. No, that doesn't help me any. Make sure these match your oil pump. Don't lose your clip. Put it right by the gear, you won't lose it. So you put it right by the gear you get used with, you don't lose it. If you have a new key, put it on the drive gear. It has the most load on it. We'll pick out the uh, next two best keys. For some reason, it looks like there's only two keys there. We're missing one, so good. Good thing we got an extra one. Yeah. Now we gotta make sure these oil pump gaskets fit this case. When you don't have the motor on the engine stand, you can move it around. See, the difference in gasket in the early and late is these two lower holes. The late ones are spread wider, wider than the early ones. So, if it lines up down here, you have the right gasket. If you can't see if it's the right one, put the uh, bolt in there. And if it goes in there, and the gasket still floats around, you have the right gasket. Unless it's a climatic, and it's probably too big, it'll work on anything. The other way you can do it, you can put it on the oil pump itself. Do the same bolt trick. See the whole lines up. I guess it matches. 
See? So that's how you do. You just gotta make sure these two bolts line up here. That's the only real difference in these pump gaskets for a lot of years. The real early pumps they don't have this hole up in here. That's your 80, 80 and earlier. Short of that, they all work. Okay, so these are all good. So we should be able to put this together. Okay, I'm gonna go find the cam cover. I'll be back.